Hello, my name is Scientist Renee. You were working with Scientist Rachel earlier when you were talking about dolphins. We're going to go a little bit further in our exploration of how dolphins communicate with each other and learn a little bit more about sound. I'm from Denver, Colorado, and I know some of you might be from Denver, or you might be from all different places around the United States, or the world. No matter where you are, welcome. I'm really excited to see you. So in this activity, we're going to learn, a, we're going to think about sound underwater. Now, I remember with scientist Rachel, you guys were talking about the question, well, how does a mother dolphin communicate with her calf across a distance? Think about yourself in a mall. If one of your parents calls your name, do you know who they are? How do you know when there's so many other people? And so you actually came up with an explanation with scientist Rachel as well. You came up with, to find her calf when they are separated, the mother dolphin communicates through sound. Just like if you were at a shopping mall, one of your parents would use sound to get your attention. So what's the main point of our explanation? It's that we know it has something to do with sound. That's how mother dolphins communicate with their calves. So that makes me think about, okay, well, sound, like that makes sense to me in a mall, but how does sound energy travel through water from a mother dolphin to her calf? Hmm. Now, I want you to think about a time that you were underwater. Close your eyes and think about when you were in a pool or when you were, maybe even you stuck your head underneath the bathtub. Could you hear things? Take a minute and try to picture and feel, visualize, what did that sound like? Now, if you're like me, I think of having my head in a pool or having my head underwater in a bathtub. I can hear sounds, but they sound a little bit different. The word I would use is kind of fuzzy. The sounds are a little bit fuzzier to me in the water. So how does that sound in water get from the mother dolphin to the calf? Man. I don't know how that works. I'd really love to explore a little bit more about that. Well, so today, let's even just think about what can sound travel through? We know some ways that sound can travel, I think, and let's keep working with that. So we're gonna do a little experimenting around your house. Today, we're gonna investigate how sound travels through different things like water, air, or solid objects like furniture and walls. So we have a page for you. It's in your notebook. It's also in the file that goes along with this. So let's look at the directions. We're gonna listen to some sounds together and then you're going to investigate sounds around your house. So what does the sound travel through? We're gonna have a source. We're gonna have a listener. And we're gonna think through what does the sound travel through? So we're gonna fill in the first row using the sound of my voice as an example. So you might be thinking, who's the source? That's pretty easy. It's scientist Renee. Who's the listener? It's you, you're the listener. So in my table, I'm gonna fill in scientist Renee is the source. You are going to be the listener, so you probably want to put your name in there. What is the sound traveling through? Hmm. If I'm thinking, what is my voice traveling through? I might think, the computer. But is it that simple? Does the computer just jump to your head, to your ears? Or what does the sound go through from the computer to your ears? If you're listening to this just with your computer in front of you, I think that the sound is traveling through air. And let's do one different one. So I'm gonna be your source again. You're gonna be the listener. Let's see if the sound travels through the pillow. We're gonna try that one more time. We're going to see if 
The sand travels through the pillow. Now, I don't know how well you were able to hear me. Maybe the sound did travel through, maybe it didn't. But what you're going to do is you're gonna go around your house. You're going to try to see if sound travels through a couple different things. Maybe sometimes the source is you and the listener is your parents or somebody else in your house, your brother or sister, a cousin, another family member. Or maybe you ask somebody else in your house to be the source. Try speaking through a bunch of different substances, a bunch of different materials. Maybe you could try talking through a wall or a door or a plate. It's up to you. What you're going to do is you're going to pause the video. Actually, the video will stop after this and then we're gonna read a book together afterwards. But I want you to go around your house and I want you to try this. There are going to be some things that sound travels through and I bet you are going to find some things that sound does not travel through. So look around your house, find someone in your family to take turns being the listener and the source, and write what you notice on the page. I'm excited to see you when we come back. When we come back, we're gonna talk a little bit about what you did, and then we're gonna talk about some really interesting ways that animals communicate with sound. I'll see you soon.